Hello, Monsters of Anhin, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and the second part of my Kugath campaign. Well, last time we uh, we beat up the starting lizards and uh, we've now laid into Gorst because that guy sucks. Good. Uh, money is reasonable. It'll get better. It'll, it'll get better, don't worry about it. It'll be, it, it. It's fine. It's fine. I don't I don't know how Kugath's economy... Is, is Kugath's economy any better? Is... Is it... Is it... An, is, is it... Is it? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. It's one of those things where I... Because I haven't played... And I know it wasn't great in Realm of Chaos, but they did buff everyone's economy in Immortal Empires because they realised that only having one army running around and having like a bajillion settlements to defend, hey, wasn't that fun. Okay, we're going to beat up you because... I don't want you behind my lines. Boopals! Yeah, we're gonna get infections, cause, cause why wouldn't we? Why would we not? Um, I'm kind of tempted. I, I do like the Furies. I do like the Furies. I just get them killed so often. Uh, I guess that Marauders aren't the. I guess we kill them. I guess they are cheap. But I could just save my pennies and then upgrade some shit. In fact, if I save even more pennies, I could potentially like build a a, th a thing, like a, a proper recruitment building. And considering that I can't just recruit things off the bat, I have to wait for the. Ooh. Uh, do we have? Do... Well, you know what? Sure, let's get that. We do have an exalted hero. Could get an exalted hero. They are they are pretty killy. Unearthly resex is slaughterer's strength. Oh, you can you do get bonuses to assault. Oh, that that might be quite useful actually. A burning body is probably going to be a little bit. Okay, I think how much are you? Six hundred. No, I'm, I need to save. I, if, I, if I don't build a recruitment building. I'm going to run out of units to recruit. Except potentially Nurglings. Which would be a problem. Okay, we need to... We need to take out Gorst. ASAP. The sooner Gorst dies, the better. Bloated carcass. I can give you miasma of pestilence, but I'm not. So, I don't, we've already got Kuga for that. Um, I guess I'm going to give you melee defense. Sure. Yeah, I really need at minimum the plague flesh poppies building. So we're gonna we're gonna save up for that. I think. Oh, I'm really tempted to upgrade, but no, no. Be strong. Be strong. No. Stick, stick with your guns. Stick with your guns. Okay, so play is good. Okay, we just just want to slap plague wherever we can, because the more it spreads, the better. The more it spreads, the happier we are, because we're big fat plague boys. Yeah, big fatty plague boys. Uh oh. Well, that looks like an army. Hello, me buckos. It's a lot of zombies. Not that we, you know, we, we can deal with zombies. Oh, I could upgrade you. Oh, that's really tempting. Okay, if I... Save my pennies. I could potentially get another unit of plague bearers because I do think plague bearers are significantly more useful than nerglings. Now I know there's a few, like particularly I think when Legend of Total War was playing, um, playing Nurgle. He, he went with the all Nurgling strategy, which has often been thrown at me as like, why are you playing Nurgle any other way? I'll also point out that um, Legend is a lovely chap, by the way. He's really 
fantastic. But I would point out that Legend also hated playing Nurgle. And uh, Great Book of Grudges also hated playing Nurgle, and he also did the Nurgling strat. And he was like, God, I hate playing with Nurglings. I was like, well, what? Okay, fair enough. But what, why? Okay, throw this out here. Why are you playing Kugath with all Nurglings if you really hate... If, if you... If you really, really hate Nurglings, like, what, what, what is the thinking there? Oh, I would like making money, but I don't know. I need to save. So, g generally, I kind of feel like don't, don't recruit all the Nurglings, basically. It's, uh, it's good for the soul, where you don't have like a bajillion stacks of Nurglings. I really want to go and chase you. You might. Are you, are you, you've got silver chevron zombies. Where the fuck from? Oh no. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. This this could be bad. This could be bad. We're now in the middle of like three stacks. Uh oh. Uh, fucking oh. Um, okay, we'll get contaminated claws. And. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. I mean, you know, could, could be worse. It could be worse. Maybe our little rat buddies will come and help. Maybe. I mean, absolute worst case. At least we'll have a shit ton of money once our army's dead. Watch them all now. Just jump me. Holy shit, they did not jump me. What the fuck? Okay. So, Ghost is there. If we take... Can we reach? We can reach the Haunted Forest. What's the garrison like? Oof, that's, uh, that's more stuff than I'd like. Okay. Okay, we're going for it. We're going for it. If we can take his his base operations, then with any luck, that will weaken him. Oh, there's a big cavalry charge coming. Or oh. there would have been until they stopped, and uh, then I decide to counter charge with my eight charge bonus. That's right, suck it, bitches. Eat that eight charge bonus. Yeah, boys. Right, um, I'm quarter camping for that. It's, uh, so sometimes, sometimes you have to do that. That's a very straight tree line, isn't it? Look at that. Very straight trees. And then, and then ghosts. And then... Good. Okay. That's fine. Um, so, we're going to send in the Beast of Nurgle. Cuddles. To attack the Black Knights. The Black Knights are probably the nastiest thing they have in this army. With the exception, of course, to... Uh, Ernest von Falkenstein. Now, I genuinely think the Strigoi Ghoul Kings can be turned into some of the most batshit fucking insane lords in the entire game. As we saw in my in my ghost campaign as a badly disguised werewolf li literally just held off Archeon. It was it's like, you know the scenes where you have some guy with like really long arms just holding someone back by the head and the other guy just swinging for him. It, it was basically that, right? Archeon was a little guy who was swinging for him, and the baddie disguised guy was like, this is... No, 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 come on, this is embarrassing now. Let's just... So, uh, I, I genuinely have a lot of respect for the Strigoi. Big respects. Just giving a little debuff there to the Black Knights to uh, reduce their melee attack. It's down to one now. They're not going to be doing too much damage. Also got the Plague Toads. Engaging the Black Knights. And uh, here comes the rest of the army. We're using the... 
the rock flies, the plague drones, to harass Ernest and get, basically get him to just keep healing himself. Because if we can do that, that wastes his winds of magic, which means when we come to the actual battle later, when he's like embroiled in combat, he won't have anything to heal himself with and we can just hopefully overwhelm him. So we're concentrating. Kugath on taking chunks out of the enemy army. Nice. Oh, chunks. I, I just know, like, there's a, uh, right. Now, the Warhammer world is filled with, like, big skulls all over the place. To be honest, it probably comes, like, you know, you just get bored of it after a while. But I can't help but feel that someone go, well, yeah, we've got big skulls, but there's no eldritch fire burning eternally uh, within casting, you know, an evil glow through the eye sockets of mouth. That would de That's definitely, like, a step up, isn't it? That's, a ste that's definitely worse. It's like if you have lava coming out of the mouth at the same time. That would probably be worse as well. Just Skull Mountains, though. They're all over the fucking place. Because, you know, grim dark, isn't it? Eh? Stream of Corruption, doing some good damage, and more and more zombies just piling in. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Cuddles, though, doing extremely well. I guess it's because he's debuffed everyone, so they've got absolutely no fucking melee attack. <laughs> so the chance of them actually being able to hit Cuddles is very low. Looks like the Black Knights are being dispatched. And uh, the Plague Toes take a little bit of damage to return, but otherwise they are fine. And the Plague Bear is holding a line there for us. I mean when when Gorst When Gorst gets his gets his buffs for zombies, they are horrendously tanky. Almost broken. Although every battle does turn into tanky zombies versus everything else, which does mean the battles take a long fucking time. But, you know, they 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 definitely are doable. Ernest, I mean he's no badly disguised werewolf, which means he's getting he's getting mobbed by by toads from all sides. Uh, also we've got Adidas in there as well. Plague drones letting off the last of their shots. Uh, I mean, they've, they've got 47 kills. They've got fifth. Holy shit, they killed 10 guys. Yikes. Yikes. I usually save their ammunition for taking out big targets because they, they do seem to do a lot of damage. Like, uh, missile cavalry in, generally, in general never seem to do very much, but the plague drones, just with a little, little extra ammunition, they just, do, they, just do, they just do really well. They just do great. Great lads. And then, of course, once they've used their ammunition... Uh, you then charge them into combat, and they are wailing away on people. They are really good, and shit tons of health as well. So you know they just don't—they just don't die. They are very, very tanky. Uh oh, those plague, plague toads not looking super happy. We may have to pull them out of combat. Kogath up to 861 kills with 3,000 damage dealt as gold. Holy shit! And Ernest and uh, Adidas are still dueling. Well, you, see, that's that's why you don't want to get involved, isn't it? Fucking Cherry, what guy? It's always me, me, me with him. He always wants to be centre of attention. And look what happened. He got bitch slapped by a Stragoy vampire. Such such is life. There's still a shit ton of zombies here. However, the plague drones have swooped down and are helping out dispatch skeleton warriors at a thin point in the line, which means. Once we've taken out these guys some warriors, we will have uh, space to, like, push through, around, and get in behind this blob on our flank. We have to be careful. The plague bearers over on our left flank have been dealing with the, the Black Knights and also a bunch of other stuff. There has been, you know, Cuddles has been here to help out, but even Cuddles is taking a little bit of damage, even though uh, it does have 83 kills there. Plague bearers and nurglings now breaching the line and being able to surround and envelop the enemy army. Meanwhile, the plague drones are just launching into the flank there and continue, continue, continuing to rack up kills. Very good. What the fuck's that? A blast from Samuel. Oh, okay. Cool. So they get magical attacks. Neat. 
I think they've got no demons. They have magical attacks anyway. It really doesn't make any difference. Uh, so Nurgling's coming in from behind. Plague Toads moving into the trees to help out with the right flank there, which, you know, they are... They're far away from any assistance, so they are looking a little bit... A little bit sad. The Strigoi Gold King has reached his... His regeneration cap and now Kugath has stepped in to help out. I'll say stepped, obviously he's been dragged in. And it looks like enemy losses are starting to take effect. And even though they've still got a bunch of zombies left, everyone is starting to crumble away. Thanks to that big old surround. Look at all those unhappy zombies. Yep, they're out of here. Those rock flies are just so good. They're just so good. Uh, I will loot and occupy. Uh, the whole what? Oh, uh, no, I'm gonna keep it for myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We've got the demon spew and the frolicker's bubonic. Do we want both of these? Uh, I could take them, couldn't I? I mean, these guys are actual damage to you. I mean, not that they have much. I do have Frenzy as well. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, I don't think that's... Specimens <laughs> for the battle study. I don't think that's correct. I don't know if that's a mod or if that's uh, just a fucking bug in the game. Who knows? Never mind. Rotting ways. Chance of plague spreading. All armies faction wide. Oh, I do like that. I mean, I want evasion because being able to get blight boil. Oh, game fucking changer. I think. Well, I think we need. Wait, what's that? Infectious joy gives speed and many. I mean, that's interesting. More armor piercing. Oh, that would be nice. Poxy winds. Is, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bunch of good stuff here. I right, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with my guns. I'm gonna go for blight boil because I feel like a blight boil and that mass of, of zombies would have been absolutely fucking catastrophic damage. Okay, and also I'm not going to build anything here because I want to upgrade this. Okay, we're gonna stick with that. Can I build anything here? To be honest, I probably need a happy building. Can I actually build anything? It says I can. Oh, I can build one of these. I mean, it. The, the problem is, it's not really that that vitally useful. Chance of. I mean, I could slap a plague in here and then ideally spread it. Uh, if we go growth and that, slap that there. I mean, at least we've got these ratties in the way. Now, I, I have vassalized these guys, and I'm probably going to dump them at some point and then just exterminate them because, you know, do, do I really want a bunch of shitty rat friends? I mean, I guess I could get some artillery, like play claw catapults and stuff. I mean, it's not. It's not outside the realms of possibility. My uh, don't you dare, you motherfucker. Okay, we need to we need to bop. I mean, maybe the Skaven can keep Helm and Gorse busy. Right. Great pox maker. Yep. An opportunity presents okay. itself. Yeah, okay, come on. Go on. Get back in your box, you creepy shit. Okay, master of Gorth one eye. Really? Okay. Uh, against. So I need to assassinate that guy. Okay. Well, I'll get right on that. The necrotic missiles are really nice because it just means like rather than one shot, you do multiple. Okay. If I go here. We won't, we won't heal, 
but we won't take corruption damage. You're recruiting stuff. I don't have any money to recruit stuff, nor do I have... Okay, we're just gonna beef this up, I think. Try and make... Try and make it as tanky as possible. Okay, we've opened up the next... Next block. Regeneration for Plague Titan. That would... That would be really useful. Uh, I don't... Ah, I don't oh, it's just, it's just the Nurglings are just... I mean, they're alright. For Sundati, that would give us that heal. That's quite nice. Uh, I'm kind of thinking... I mean, double experience has always been a weird one. Like, double experience... I don't think there's any other technology in the entire game that gives double experience for, for anything. And yet, for some reason, it's in Kugath's tree? Just weird. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this, because I... I like the froggies, and I want to use them more, but I, I never really found a use for them, which was a shame. It was a shame. Uh, if I... Hit, right, what plague do I have on myself? Oh, you've got the plague as well. Nice. Less control. That's good. I think not. Well, no, you wouldn't, would you? You'd, you'd have a definite opinion on that. Okay, we don't have a plague here, so we're going to slap... What do we have? Cycle time for military buildings. Uh, I don't really need the control. So if we do this, so we get money if it spreads, and also... Yeah, let's, let's go with that. I do feel hot. Good. How long is that going for? Eight turns. Shit. Shit, son. Shit, son. Okay, we've got plagues. They're multiplying. Where's... Oh, God. Where the no. fuck did you get two stacks from, you crazy bastards? Okay, well... Well, we're, we're just gonna have to go for it. We're just gonna have to go for it. At least his Zombles don't have regeneration yet. Because if they did, that would literally be a fucking nightmare. Get in here, you lazy shits. You're gonna shield me with your little furry fucking bodies! Oh, shit. Can you, can you get closer? Okay, you can actually... Okay, well, well, the plan stands. The plan stands. We've got a bunch of a bunch of ratties to come and help us against Gorst and a bajillion Zombles. So, really frustratingly, I fought that battle and then it crashed. And that has really pissed me off. Because that was a really fun battle, but unfortunately, I couldn't manage to get them to do the same thing they previously did either. For some, like, I could get these guys together at this settlement, but then for some reason, this guy would rush in and suicide himself. I fuck knows why. Like, there'd be two, two and a half stacks then. He'd just throw himself at the settlement and kill himself. W why? What? Anyway, as you can tell, I'm a bit fucked off because that was a really fun battle, and now it's completely useless. So I'm just going to have to go in and uh, fight again. So, so there was another stack there. It was like a massive... There's huge zombies everywhere. It's like 8,000 enemies to fight. Oh, well. Oh, God. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I'm really... It was such a good battle. It was so much fun. It had, it had everything. It had flanking... It had breakthroughs, it had big explosions, it had catastrophic kill counts. It was amazing. Such a good battle. And it, it was possibly the greatest battle in Total War history. I know that's, I know that's, that's quite a claim, but... And instead, you know, 
we get this. This this is not the greatest battle in the world. No. No, at most, this is a tribute. You can't play the greatest battle in the world. No, no, it's just just this one. It's just a just a tribute. Which is, you know. And the peculiar thing is, my friends, the the battle that I played previously is actually nothing like this battle. I mean, it's fairly similar. It's on the same map, but still, it's otherwise it's um, it's completely different. So it was weird because the reinforcements came in from this side, and actually, what the enemy army did, they actually, they all came around here. So I managed to plug them at this at this choke point, and uh, I then sent a bunch of my Skaven forces around up behind them. So while they were busy engaged here, we got we got flanking forces coming in from behind. Kugath racked up like I think it was like 1.9k kills. Because of the sheer number of uh, streams of corruption, of course, his artillery shots he was doing. It was genuinely mwah, chef kiss. you got to believe me. And I wish you were there. It's, it's a matter of opinion. Anyway, the Skaven forces have arrived. And usefully, we've actually got a bunch of characters here. Which is uh, helpful for taking out Gorse, should we need to. Uh, particularly in that previous battle. Because there was a bunch of characters. I think it was like three three or four characters so being up having a little assassination squad adidas backed up by uh the three the three skaven lads we just like just piled in and took them out you do some flanky forces coming around down the hill there and i'm moving up some skaven slaves to intercept them while we keep the uh the main blob busy do have some uh, plague bearers waiting just in case nerglings taking on the zombies Where's the bubonic Juby What's it? The, the special ones. Oh, there they go. The frolicking bubonic. So they basically do damage. They have like a reflection thing, which is, you know, which is fine. The plague drones are now harassing Gorst. As I say, they can't do a lot of damage with their, their missile attacks. And Gorst is a very slow moving large target. You know, ideally, you want him to be right with your zombies, not trailing trailing behind like this. The Plague Toads have managed to mop up a unit of of Skellingtons that was sort of like by itself, which is good. And we've now got a nice little surround here, so about four units of uh, Skeletons and Zombles are now surrounded, and we can shoot them. All that kind of good stuff. We've got the, uh, the Wolf Rats coming in from behind, and the Plague Drones. Not Plague Drones, Plague Toads. Plague Drones are harassing Gorse. You can see doing a lot of damage there, taking chunks out of his health. The Plague Toads moving in from behind to get the devastating frog charges. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Ah, oh, yeah. The charges aren't massively devastating, but they just knock shit around. They really do. There's still a huge blob. Which we're sending the wolf. The wolf rats won't do particularly well against this. They will run away. But to be honest, as I said, this army's a loner. So who gives a shit? Plague toads annihilating the units. They're like that. Thirty-nine kills, seventy-six kills. Yeah, they're doing. They're doing pretty well. Cuddles again, right in the middle of a horde of skeleton zombies. And here comes Gorst on very low health. Yeah, he's, he's, not do, he's not doing so hot. He's not doing so hot. And then we're going to hit him with a, uh, a rancid visitation as well. Which is an absolutely devastating single target spell. What does it do? Hang on. There we go. Uh, it does 66 to 133 damage. And it lasts for like 20 seconds. So, uh, and, and backs up by the plague drones there. Gorse health just plummets. I'm going to be honest, once Gorse is dead, I don't really think... Yep, he's down. He's down. He went down like a sack of shit. I don't think his army's going to stick together for much longer. But realistically, it shouldn't be able to stick together at all. Because, of course, he's the only necromancer here. So uh, all of these all of these skeletons and zombies are raised on his will alone. Which means that, you know, if he, if he dies, who's controlling them? I mean, they're certainly not happy. They're a little bit sad. Lord recently died. Minus 16. We've got exposed flank there as well. Army losses are starting to rack up. And... Yeah, there we go. I think we're starting to see army losses take effect. The entire... Uh, the, the, all of the units currently engaged are starting to crumble away. And that's causing other units to start... 
to start wavering and then crumbling themselves. Never mind. The outcome is ultimately the same. And you know what? I'm, I'm, okay. Hear me out here. I'm kind of tempted to keep the ratty boys around. I'm kind of tempted to like give them this province. I just, I just wonder if it will be actually quite useful for me. I don't know. This province doesn't have any trade goods, so I can't beef up my. I, you know, it was it was useful to have those guys. Okay, we're going to hop out of the settlement so that they can't, like, jump me with one guy. Or lay siege to me. You know, it, it's quite useful to have these little shits. Okay, I'm going to untax you, because... We've got... We've got the vampire shit, haven't you? You want that vampire shit? Okay, I'm going to build this... Three turns. Well, I, I don't think Gorse has any settlements left. Shush. Yeah, he, he'd be dead. So likelihood is, he will just suicide into me. Can I level you guys up? No. Oh, we finally got Blight Boil. Thank goodness. It's going to be really useful against all those fucking zombies we're fighting, isn't it? Right after they're dead. I'm going to get Dwarf Crackers, because I think... You know, I, I love my Plague Bearers, and I think anything that makes the Plague Bearers better is good. Just is good. And replenishment is. You know. the, the only slight problem with the previous battle is I lost Adidas. He uh, he got tangled up in a whole in a massive blob of zombies, and then Gorse turned up, and he was fine. But as I tried to pull him out, he got sad, and then he died. So it's like, oh. yeah, wasn't wasn't ideal. I I think he probably would have survived the battle because we won it. I'm not entirely sure, but. I guess, I guess at least Adidas was safe. Savage blow. You got, yeah, you guys are never going to like me. I was like, maybe you could be, no, we're not going to be friends. Nope. Nope, 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 oh, fuck. Okay, Rassies, you're going to come back here and deal with that. I'm just going to pop these guys. Uh... I kind of want the money, actually. Uh, did you survive? I don't want you raising dead and just, just recruiting another stack. Uh, I'll take the 1% for punishment, I guess. Okay, then we need to put... Well, we can, we, can, we can make it to the settlement. That'll give us a little bit of extra punishment. Which will come in useful if we're going to fight ogres. And it does look like we're going to be fighting ogres. I don't know why I keep raising the inflection. Okay, what I don't want is you coming down. I don't mind you taking scrap towers. Because to be honest, I might give that to the ratties. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to give this to the... I'm going to keep the ratties. I was going to exterminate them. But actually, actually, they may have saved themselves. They may have saved themselves by actually being vaguely useful. And we got wood. Lovely. Okay, so... Got wood there. So that's going to give us an extra percentage. We have the special building here, which can be useful because that generates income, which is very, very helpful. Uh, we've got plague everywhere, which is what we want. Good. Kugath oh, doesn't have any plague. Kugath, what are you doing? Come on. Kugath. Uh, I guess we go with that. It's like, just whack a little plague on him. Whack a little plague on him. Let's get you over here. I suspect these guys are probably going to declare war on me. And probably Grease us as well. Which way? Okay, what? What do I need to do? Spread corruption. Okay, can do. Well, we've taken out... Right, we need to take out the western prop. So we need to go eastward anyway. We definitely imprisoned Gorst. Uh, taking out the Western provinces may be slightly trickier. 
Uh, then we need to go west for for Kazakarak. Fine, fine, okay, that's that's fine. Got the regeneration. Okay, I'm just going to sit you in this settlement. And I mean, if you die, that is a minor concern. Okay, we are slowing. We're slowing the rebellion. It's down to four turns. I think it'll be alright. I think it'll be okay. Because, I mean, nerve corruption is increasing. Vampiric is stable, apparently. Which is... Not what I want. Uh, I could increase Nurgle corruption. Get that going on. Well, it's like when plague is spread. To be honest, that just sounds dangerous. Plague duration plus twenty five percent all armies. That does sound quite nice. See, it, it doesn't take much to make the technologies interesting, and they just—I just felt like they, they buffed it a little bit, and then just didn't really. They didn't really fix the problem, which was the fact that. Uh, for some reason, Kugath just has a shit ton of Realm of Chaos specific technologies in his tree, and they haven't done anything about it. My suspicion is that currently on Total War Warhammer 3, we've got a skeleton staff because the rest of the studio are busy on... My guess is, and this is not coming from any internal knowledge, my guess is they're making a new engine. Because I think we saw... With um, Three Kingdoms, they're starting to hit the limitations, things like the passes and stuff, where you know, they, they couldn't fix that problem, right? There was no way they could fix that problem. It's just it, they, 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 we, we've got like gates in Warhammer 3, and they, they kind of work, but it feels a bit hacky the way they do. And I think the problem is that they just don't really have a way of dealing with that. So I think what they're doing is probably like redoing, right? Creating a new engine, and the, the new Total Wars are going to be, or they might have already done it, and you know, they're now sort of developing the next Total War. I think Pharaoh is a stopgap, basically. I think that's just because, you know, CA Sophia is is there and that they're, they're sort of doing their own thing kind of separate and uh, the main studio is sort of working on those big new historical titles. So I think people like losing their shit about, oh, Pharaoh, it's, oh, oh. it's like, no, th th I think that's just, you know, if, if it wasn't Pharaoh, we just wouldn't get anything. You know, they'd be busy doing, you know, they're just busy. They're not, they're not like sitting there slacking but the problem is that warhammer 3 now has no fucking resources i think the dlc is obviously still dlc team still working on it of course but um i think we've, we've been really limited actually in in the, the amount of resources being placed at warhammer 3 which is i think it's been a real problem actually for the game because we're, we're seeing patches you know particularly like the bretonian one where there's so many bugs it's almost like they just didn't test it which is weird just really weird. Really, really weird. I genuinely don't... I can't wrap my head around it. Uh, chance of play spreading. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for that. Okay. Will the ogres kill the ratties? Who knows? At least the ratties have got like... they got like another army there. Look at that. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to give them a fucking province. I think, I think I'm think i going to do that. I'm just going to, I'm going to give them a province. Keep the ratties as little pets. Who? You know. Plague. Rats. It, it goes together like... Cheese and pickle. That's the best I could come up with. Living scribes. Ah, oh, crap. Don't like that. Actually, I could be friends. Hang on. Thank you. Oh, beastmen. What a bunch of guys. I fucking love beastmen. <laughs> they don't know the value of money. That's the problem. They look at it and go... What's this yellow shit? I don't know what this is. And I come and I go, um... I'd like another, I'll tell you what, I won't kill you if you kill me. And they're like, oh, okay, that sounds good. All right. Um, can I have that yellow stuff you've got? Yeah, have it all. Here you go, have it. I don't, I don't, we don't, we don't, don't know what it's for. Brilliant. Thanks so much. That's really helpful. And um, yeah, I'll get rid of that for you. Don't worry about it. Later, guys. Bye. Fucking idiots. Um... <laughs> So, I think we want to go for the Demonic Egg. Do I want to go for Demonic Egg? I kind of do. I kind of do. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right, you're down there. 
Are you in range of... You are in range of that one. I do not... I, I do not care, Fog, for you going to try and sack my settlements, you piece of ogre shit. Get out of here, you dick. Okay, I'm not going to upgrade that because there's no point because I'm going to give it away. Still four turns. Okay, it is getting better. I think I think we can I think we can stop this. I think we can stop the the bleeding. Cuz once we've got this, it's going to give us skip No. Nope. No, nope, wrong building. That one. Once we've got this, it's like, well, that doesn't have control on it. Nope, doesn't. Good job. Um, once we've got this, we get more control. So that's four control. So I I think we can we can stop that. Right. And then we can just push push the ogres back. I'll take Pig Barter and Ruin's End, but I genuinely think I'm going to give um, the Skaven this province and uh, let them be my little, my little buds, my little, my little guys. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But that's going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.